Hi everyone. I often hear it said that you shouldn't comfort a dog when they're scared because you'll only make them worse. In this video I'd like to take a look at this old wives tale and consider if there's any truth in it. the importance of feeling safe I discussed how feeling safe can help your greyhound to settle in when you first adopt them it's an important part of becoming a pet to learn to feel safe in this new environment and part of it is being able to provide a source of comfort to them as they go through this process so for those of you who have been told that you should never comfort a dog that it will teach them to be more fearful I will say that fear is an emotion. It's not a conscious decision to feel fear. When Daisy hears a firework, she doesn't think to herself, oh goodness me, there's a firework, bang bang, I'm scared. It's a natural, visceral instinct. She is scared and she's gonna be scared whenever she hears those noises or in the face of the unknown. So things that they do know are frightening because they were frightening last time, and there doesn't have to be any rhyme or reason to it. Talk to someone who has a phobia and they will be able to explain that to you. And it's exactly the same with dogs. Now, emotions cannot be reinforced. So we cannot make the dog feel more scared. They are as scared as they're going to be. They do, however, pick up on our emotional state. And I wonder if this is perhaps where this old wives tale has come from. Emotions can be contagious, particularly between people and their dogs, if there is already a close bond. If you are anxious and nervous, you could convey this to your dog. And then you could make their fear worse not because you're comforting them but because they are picking up on your fearful emotions at the time if this is the case it's important that we comfort our dog in the right manner so that we can be a support to them we cannot teach them not to be scared but anxiety makes it harder to learn and to remember what you already know so their behavior is likely to be different in these situations and telling them off will make them more fearful and reduce the support you can provide. So there is really little benefit in telling them off when they're already frightened. Let's think then about how we can help our dog to feel safer. There is research that shows that physical contact can be beneficial. Stroking or petting from a familiar person can lower blood pressure, lower heart rate and reduce levels of cortisol which is a stress hormone. This means that stroking or other body contact can be beneficial in helping your dog to feel secure and safe. It's also recognised that just your presence could be a benefit. There is research with children that shows that the presence of their parent or guardian helps them to feel more confident and the same has been shown to apply to dogs. So just physically being there can be beneficial, even if you're not touching them. In the early days of bringing your greyhound home, the best way to comfort them can be to create an environment which helps them to relax. And in those first days, it might actually be better to leave them alone rather than to spend too much time close by them respecting their space and allowing them to approach you when they're ready can be better than imposing your presence on them if they're not finding that that's what they need at that time we don't want to fuss around them or appear overly concerned and we want to avoid watching them too closely because that gaze might feel a bit oppressive let them choose where they feel safest what looks like the coziest place to you may not feel the safest place to the dog so for example, I know when Daisy's feeling upset because she heads off down the kitchen and lies in front of the fridge. This is nothing to do with wanting the contents of the fridge, but for some reason, totally unknown to me, lying on the hard floor in front of the fridge is where she feels safe these days. It used to be at the bottom of the stairs. Now it's the, the space by the fridge. Who knows why? Only Daisy can tell you. 
If it helps them to stay near you, then let them do so. Insisting that they're in a different room is only going to heighten their fear. And later on, once you've had the dog for a while, if they are more comforted by your presence touching them, then they will come to you and let you understand that need. And in those situations, then physical touch, body contact may be more beneficial. Most importantly, remember to stay calm and relaxed yourself. Focus on taking slow, deep breaths, making smooth movements, especially if you're stroking them. And it may be enough to just sit nearby and do something calm like reading and let them benefit from your calming presence. Anyway, that's all for today. We'll be back again soon with more videos for you. Bye for now. Look out for new videos every Monday and why not subscribe so you don't miss out.